Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jason with JW Classic VW, and we are out on a beautiful sunny day. I'm not sure how well you guys are seeing me right now because I got the rag top opened up, and well, I'm shooting on a new camera. Hmm, 4K baby. Well, new phone camera. <laughs> Today we're gonna be looking at the toe on Goose and kind of getting an idea of where it's currently at and where it should be at because it's definitely not where it should be. So. If you're interested in learning about toe, toe in, toe out, stay tuned, guys. See you in a minute. All right, guys. Well, it is definitely windy out here, so you're going to be hearing some of that. What we're going to be using today to do this measurement with or to figure out what the toe is at is a tape measure, just like this one. All we're going to be doing is checking the front side of the tires. You want to make sure that your tape, tape measure is about at the, the center of the hub. Sorry about the wind, guys. I know you're going to be hearing that. I'll probably be taking this back to the garage here in a second, but we can go ahead and check where we are right now on the front of our tire and the back of our front tire. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. It really helps to have a partner helping you with this, but I don't have that. I'll probably have to do this the other way, actually, because the tread is... Now just pick a spot. I'm gonna pick the center of the tread. And then remember, you wanna go as high as you can with it. Across, and I'm sitting about Right about 50 inches, right about 50 inches on the front. Now let's go ahead and check the back side and see where we're at. Back side is gonna be quite a bit more difficult, especially with a lowered beetle. Just try to get the tape as close as you can to the bottom of the actual, uh, ooh, that wind, is, the wind is blowing my tape. I'll try to get the tape as close as you can to the bottom of the body. We are at about 50 and a half inches. <laughs> 50 and a half. Yeah, that's it, guys. It actually, which is definitely out from where it's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and take this back to the garage so we can do some adjustments.
right guys we're looking at the Bentley manual on tow in it's really funny because at first it tells you to go ahead and get your wheel straightened out and then it <laughs> wheels in a straight ahead position using the special tool with some chains on it to check things which we don't have suspension has to be at its full um, ride position like if you have weight in it for the best adjustment but release the clamping screws at both ends the tie rod we already talked about that it's a uh, the clamping screws are 13 millimeter and then you just turn the uh, the rod until you get the right position and here is the right position read the amount of toe on the scale the distance between the front wheel wheels should be greater than the rear so 1.3 millimeter to whatever in the rear what it doesn't tell you is that you should be checking the distance between the front of the front tire and the back of the front tire that's how you really get your toe and adjustment correct this information is a little sketchy so I pulled out my other Bentley manual that I have because I have a Bentley manual for 61 to 65 which also had link pin front ends and then I have a Bentley manual here looks like the newer the hardback version that I bought for Goose it covers hold on a second hold on hold everything because manuals are important guys especially the Bentley ones right 52 to 57 the information in the Bentley manual for 61 to 65 is actually a little bit more detailed. Look at the tool they use to check toe in here. This is not the same one that uh, they kind of describe in the earlier book. So check in toe in, and actually has the measurements up here, which is a little bit different. Presumably some of the suspension stuff changed, but let's just take a look at this real quick. It is advisable to check the front axle track when the vehicle is unladen. Uh, that's without weight. And here is what is saying without weight. Your toe in. With permissible total weight. Okay, so whatever they call or calling out for as permissible total weight. The first step in checking toe in is to make sure that there is no run out of the front wheels and that wheel bearings, torsion arm link pins, and tie rods joints are not excessively worn. So before you check your <laughs> Before you check your toe, you got to make sure that all your components aren't, you know, worn out and old as crap, which we're probably not going to do that. We're probably just going to check our toe and try to get it fixed, <laughs> right? <laughs> you want to check for crazy stuff, like when uh, in that earlier video, check it out up here, guys, if you haven't watched it yet. Earlier video about uh, the front suspension. I actually got two separate videos that cover that. Place the car facing forwards because backwards would be wrong, and bring the front wheels into a straight ahead position. Of course. That's funny, I like, I like how it says, read off the measurement. <laughs> You're in the factory and I want you to say it loud. <laughs> so here we go, I busted out my gauge and it's at four millimeters now. So that's four millimeters. This is your difference between the front of your front tire and the back of your front tire. Not to be confused with your back tires and your front tires. And if we pull this up here, it is. Na, 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 na. An eighth of an inch. So basically, an eighth of an inch between the front and the rear. And what is ours at, guys? Let's go take a look. All right, guys, we were back in the garage, and I thought that I would, for like I usually do, illustrate what I'm talking about when it comes to toe. Here's the front wheels. Let's go ahead and just draw the front wheels again. So here's our front wheels. You're going to have this measurement here on the front of the wheels, and you're going to have this measurement here on the rear of the front wheels, okay? And when we did the measurement at first, we, w we had a measurement of 50 inches on the front and a measurement of 50, and I think it was three quarters on the rear of the front wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and remeasure that now just so we can confirm that. And then I'll get back to you with what we got, okay? 
All right, let's get down here and take a look at that. Here's what we got, the real deal. Our distances, okay, hold on a second. Brr, brr. Do, 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 do. Boop, ba -doo. Actually, I don't know if I have to, eh, I will. Go back a little bit and come forward. So guys, you like what you're learning? Learning about Toad today? Do me a favor and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you have any questions, add some comments below. Now back to video. So just like we measured out in the parking lot, we want to go ahead and measure here with our tape measure. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and mark your wheel in a location. Well, the side of the tire you're gonna be checking on anyway. For me, I don't have uh, another person out here. So once again, I will be using just the center tread on my driver's side because it still has a tread. The, uh, the actual, uh, the actual adjustments shouldn't really change. Cool, so there's the front. And I'm gonna do the same on the back side. All right, measurement time. Now, like I told you, you wanna stay as close to the top of the car as you can. Somebody grab that other side over there. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Just come through the, come through the, uh, the uh, video there. Aw, oh, crap city. Come to the video there and help me out. 50 and a quarter. 50 and one quarter, which is actually a little bit more than what we had before. So 50 and a quarter. Let's check the back side. Right after part on the board. And the back side. It's gonna tell us the story. The back side will. I need some tape, that's what I need. Some tape to hold that thing in place for me, right? I think that I might be on the wrong tread or something. Because I have 51 inches right there. And that would be insanely uh, more than it should be. Let me get, see if I can get over there and go take a look. Ooh, it's actually holding. I think I'm just on the wrong tread. Because that's a lot of extra. No, that's the center tread. Wow. I think I might actually need to, uh, to, to get some tape on this or something to hold that in place. Give me a second, guys. Do, 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 do. Let's clear off some crap. We don't need this information anymore. All right. And here's where we stand, guys. So this is the passenger side wheel. Passenger side wheel. Back. Front. This is our driver side wheel. Back. And front. And what we ended up with is at the front, we have 50 and one quarter. And at the rear, we have 51 inches. So right now we are off quite a bit from the maximum allowable tow in. Cause that's what we got guys. We have a tow in situation. This distance is less than that distance by quite a bit. We're only allowed an eighth of an inch and we've got almost a full inch. <laughs> we have three quarters of an inch too much. So right now we're at, or three, three fourths. We're at three fourths difference between the front and the rear. 
and that's too much. And what we need to do is we need to adjust our tie rods. So our tie rods come across over here like this. This is our pitman arm right here. And it attaches to both of these as our pitman arm. And what we need to do is undo the lock, which there's a lock that I can get to on both sides over here and here as well, and adjust both this side and this side equally until we have the distance change, which honestly is not that much of a change because picking up three quarters of an inch is probably a, a, a turn or two on both sides. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's do this. 50 and one quarter. 51 inches. That looks really nice. I like dry erase boards. They're cool. All right, let's get to work on breaking these tie rods loose and making some adjustments. All right, guys, I hope you can see everything okay. The adjustments we're looking to break loose, first off, are this, there's a lock right here. This is for the passenger side, so we're gonna go ahead and break that loose. This jam nut, so we can turn that rod once we get over there. On it, there we go. You have to have the weight on the, uh, on the suspension to get a proper adjustment. Now I'm actually gonna look to do less on the driver's side than I am gonna be doing on the passenger side. So I'm probably gonna do one full turn on the driver's side because it's not that big of a it's not wearing as fast as the passenger side. So we're gonna go ahead and do one full turn on this side, the driver's side, and then move over and probably do two full turns on the passenger side. Turns in, because remember we're adjusting in. Now don't forget guys that uh, if you have worn components, you probably might, well, probably, most likely, you'll end up having other issues causing problems as well. You know what I mean? Other issues like, uh, uh, like if your link pins are worn out, it'll be difficult for you to get your link pin bushings are worn out or your ball joints. If you have a ball joint front end are worn out, you're gonna have a, uh, a hard time getting a correct a correct uh, adjustment see if this is see if it's moving at all so just you just need to be able to tell when it comes around so you don't need like a heavy line it's one line and like I told you I'm just gonna start off with and this is the way it's gonna be guys this might take you a minute to get this thing set right or to get your adjustments right because it just you're just gonna have to make multiple attempts at this and pay attention to see which way this is drawing if it's drawing in or out hopefully hopefully not damage it or scratch it up too much anyway scratch up this uh tie rod in it's been painted that would suck but yeah, it happens, you know what I mean? Gotta get his toe right. There we go. Now we just need to check and see which way we're going. I will. Of the paint. What are you gonna do? 
part of the game. All right, let's straighten this thing out and check the adjustment. Let's check the measurement. We are at 50 and three quarters. 50 and a half on the front. So we're getting closer. So let's get set up to just passenger side. Okay, let's move over to the passenger side now and get set up to adjust it. See what we can see. <laughs> All right. This side seems to be moving quite a bit easier than uh, than the other side. In the uh, in the driver's side, so let's see what we can do here. Now, yeah, that's gonna be this way. So there's one one full turn right there. Should we just check that first, guys? I think we should. Let me go ahead and straighten it all out and see where we're at. All right, guys, so what we have right now is I've adjusted one full turn in on both sides and we've got a tow in situation now and not, or a tow out situation now, not a tow in situation. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is leave the full turn on the passenger side because that was our side, of the t our side that had the most wear on the tire. And I'm gonna go ahead and start working in the driver's side to see if we can get where we need to be. So here we go. All right, guys, one final check of everything. Let's check, make sure the measurements are all good and we should be good with the front toe adjustments. Took a while going back and forth, but I think we got it. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. So this is where we started off with and I kind of like broke this down in eighths so you can kind of see the big difference in where we were and where we are now. Once again, the max allowable uh, toe in is uh or difference between uh the rear of the tire and the front of the tire is two to four millimeters or one eighth is what our target was a one eighth uh one eighth difference we started off with six eighths difference which was quite a bit more than it's supposed to be which explains some of our wear well i'm going to say some because there might be other issues when it comes to adjustment on the caster and the camber but really more maybe the camber but for right now for toe, this was a big difference and a big change. And this is where we ended up. We ended up with the 1 8 difference, 50 and 3 fourths on the rear of the tire or wheel. And then we ended up with 50 and 5 eighths on the front of the tire. So good stuff, guys. We got it to where it needs to be. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for Goose and I today. Uh, fun times, man, adjusting toe. Back and forth multiple times to get it right, but uh, we did. We finally got within that 1 8 max that we were targeting. So good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I know I did. More to come on alignment. There's quite a bit to it, especially when you don't have like a rack or professional setup. It's uh, gonna take some time. I'm gonna be getting some caster shims 
so I can adjust the caster on the beam. And then also we're gonna talk more about the um, camber when I get my brake kit, because when I get my brake kit, I'm gonna be getting new spindles as well. That's kind of a hint as in what brake kit I'm going with. This is Jason with JW Classic VW, and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye. I almost had it that time. <laughs> this will be part of the outtakes reel for sure. Oh, damn the wind. We need to tur turn the car around, Jay. Turn the car around, bro. Nice and easy, baby.